To become a good data analyst, you need to get a good grasp in the following three areas. Analytical thinking, data wrangling or manipulation, and data visualization. In this video, I'll show you how you can address these three areas in an optimal way so that you are on the right track of becoming an expert data analyst. More than that, I also think you should enjoy the learning process because when you enjoy something, it's easier to spend more time on it. So stay with me and I'll show you how to become a data analyst in a way that you will actually enjoy. Think about what is interesting to you. It might be a hobby, a sport, any activity, art or area of human experience. Chances are there is already tons of data out there on that topic. When you read about it or watch YouTube videos on that topic, try to ask yourself questions. Why is this happening in a particular way and not in another? Why is one sport so popular and another not so much? Then go online, search for information, look at opposing views and try to get an answer. The key here is to look at something that's interesting for you and not boring. That way you will be willing to invest the time and effort to find the answer. Then gradually, as you read and learn more, you will become better in asking the relevant questions and finding meaningful answers. In order to analyze data, you need to be able to work with it. Here comes the data manipulation. Excel and Google Sheets are the most popular tools for that. They are fine for smaller datasets, up to a few hundred thousand rows. This is what I want you to start with. Go online and find tutorials. There is a ton of useful content out there. And learn the basics. Then go back to the topics that you're interested in. Try to find data online about them. Now you have the data on a subject that you love. So you can use the tutorials and start learning. This is how you make learning fun. Don't forget to create charts in Excel. I will later explain why. The step after you become intermediate in Excel would be to look at SQL. This means Structured Query Language. And with it, you can manipulate data into a format that is nice for analysis and visualization. On this step, you basically repeat the same steps as with Excel. You find data on a topic you like and follow a tutorial to learn to work with it. But when you work with SQL, you see only numbers. That's a bit boring, isn't it? This is where data visualization comes in. The value of DataVis is the speed and effortlessness of understanding of the data. This is why I recommended creating charts when you learn Excel. This will show you how easier it is to understand and communicate data using charts compared to tables. For DataVis, there are two main tools, Tableau and Power BI. You don't need to know Excel or SQL prior working with them. But having some Excel skills will definitely help you. I really hope this methodology of using topics that you like to improve you as a data analyst professional will help you. I have used it a lot to improve my skills and I'm still doing it. Finally, don't forget that you shouldn't chase perfection, but instead be consistent and trust the process and you'll get there. Cheers.